You suck at this. Hello! It's Vlogmas Day 7. We are on our way to go get me assessed for dyscalculia, which is math dyslexia. It's my final assessment for three hours and then they determine whether or not I actually have a disability or if I'm just dumb. So, <laughs> love that. I actually don't mind the assessment because it's more just like you play games and apparently that qualifies to see if you're dumb or not. But I like the guy that does the assessment. He's really funny. So I laugh a lot, but also cry inside because he makes me do math. So it was mental math. Yeah, I can't do mental math to save my life, but I can't do regular math on paper either. He made me do a math test, and I think I answered like hey, she five. A written one? Well, it's like a written test, but it's just like boxes with like a math question at the top. Like one of them was one plus one. And then it got harder as you kept going and it like by the end of it it was like log t minus 10 oh, and i was right. like i don't know what this means i i think i did like one plus one i did like a couple multiplication ones i did um one division one because i just like drew the circles and like did the little tally things that you learn in grade three <laughs> pretty sure i still got it wrong but it's okay and then it just like progressively gets harder. Like you have to find like the angles of a triangle and like sine, cos, tan, but like you don't get a calculator. So I'm like, I can't even do this with a calculator. So how are we gonna do it without a calculator? You know what I'm saying? But what were the other questions that you were asked? Cause these are funny. So he can't like just base it off of math. So he's also asking me like knowledge questions. And like, I had to do like a reading comprehension thing, but it was basically like questions that were like, who is Gandhi? And then I had to have to like, tell him who Gandhi was and I not a very good at history so was like who's Gandhi and I was like uh the world peace guy wears a toga got some glasses uh bare feet uh, he's a Buddhist and he's just like sitting there like this girl's a fucking idiot <laughs> he asked me what the capital of Italy was and like you're supposed to answer as fast as you can so I'm like Sicily <laughs> Because it was the only Italian place I could think of. Like the math questions, it gets like harder as it goes down. So the last question was, what's the biggest organ in your body? And I'm a kinesiology major, so I was like, skin. And he's like, most people don't get that. So really, I think that this whole thing is stupid because it's based off of like... It's general knowledge. Yeah, it's general knowledge. But if you have like more knowledge in one area, like I have more knowledge in the body... So I can answer the hardest question, but I can't answer like, what is the capital of Italy? So like, it just doesn't make sense to me. The, the one, um, audacious. Oh yeah. And then he gave me a whole bunch of like vocabulary words and I would have to like explain what it meant. So like it started off with like bed, apple, like that kind of thing. And it would get harder as it went on. And one of the words was audacious. And I started laughing because I was like, literally the only thing I can think of is like that one rap song where it's like, her booty so bodacious. And I was like, you know, they sound similar. And he's just like, what the fuck? But um, it means outrageous if anybody's uh, curious. So um, now I have so three more have hours. Three hours. Yeah, and he's probably like sitting there and looking at his like book and who's You're coming like, in. Oh, he's like, oh no. shit, it her again. No, you know what though? Cause I, when I came to pick you up, I had said, could you hear her sobbing? And the guy at the front goes, no, they're laughing a lot. <laughs> and then one of the questions was like, who wrote Hamlet? But he said, who wrote Shakespeare's Hamlet? And I was like, Shakespeare? Could and you he was answer like, that anyway? Yeah, I would have oh, been okay. able to answer it, but it was funny because he was just like, he read the question and then he was like, shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, you're not allowed to swear. But yeah, he's really cool. I like him. But yeah, so we're going to go see if I'm dumb or not. That's what we're doing for today one to four and then we're gonna go look at shoes on the hunt for the perfect new year's eve shoe because you have the perfect dress yes i have the perfect dress and we found one option in these ones because i want something that like has a chunky heel because walking in four inch heels for an entire night is not a good time so i wanted something like that's not super tall because the guy I'm going with is six feet tall and I'm six feet tall and I don't want to be taller than him because that's weird because like in masculinity, you know? So. Does he have an issue with the height thing? No, he doesn't care. Okay. But being taller than someone it's for the entire night. It's something that you're very aware of. Yeah, so. So 
So these are cool because they're gold and then at different angles are silver. Yeah, it's they really like cool. change color and my dress is gold, so. Which matches your nails pretty good. Yes. So our plan, we were trying to decide whether or not we should go to a different store and try to find other shoes or just get these ones, but they don't come in my size here, so we'd have to order them. Okay, here's my suggestion. Let's go to the other store, okay. see what's there. Okay. And then if it's still not what you want, we come back here and you order them and we'll see how long it takes for them to come here basically because you need them before New Year's Eve. True. Right? Thoughts? All right, that's our plan. Peace. Okay. Say bye. Okay. This time, wow. Everybody take your pictures in front of the Christmas tree. <clears throat> I have found my shoes. They're from Old Navy, which you wouldn't think that Old Navy would have cute shoes, but Old Navy has pretty cute shoes. And they were only $27. And my dress is only $24, which means that's the $50 outfit, right? Is that the right math? You were close on the number, Sarah, but yes, oh, you're approximately, yeah. approximately $50. Cute. And then we got Cinnabon, because we're fat asses. Right, Mom? Yep. And we got the bigger package because Curtis isn't home, which means we each get two instead of one. Because when we do the four, it's not worth having the a fight. World War Three over a cinnamon. But now we get to eat two, so I'm excited. That, that gnome dance as you're stomping around? No. Would you like to go back and do it and I can film you? Here I am, here I am. Here I am. That's not like the gnome dance he does. Making snowballs, which were featured in last Vlogmas, so it's not oh, very new and exciting. But there's cream cheese and butterscotch chips and chocolate chips, and you melt them all down. So, and no then thinking. you are so annoying. <laughs> okay, shh. <laughs> and then you mix it with it cherries and marshmallows and then you roll it in coconut and then you place it on this fine baking sheet and then you stick it in the fridge and then you eat it. Ew, look at that. Wow. It's gonna go too. Goodbye to Vlogmas. Closing it up for the day? Yes, say goodbye. Did you have a busy day? No, say goodbye. All you want is goodbye? Yes. Wow. You're yelling at me again. <laughs> say goodbye. Get your tea. Bye. Bye. Bye.